Hey everyone, welcome to Josh's Outdoor Adventures. Today, me and my boy Steven, we got our canoes loaded up. We're gonna go do a little canoe camping. So why don't you come along? A little bit pressed for time so we're trying to make it to our island and get set up before dark but here we are it's beautiful out too it's a few boats out but we're you know there's not much wind so that's a good thing we're not getting pushed all over the place so stick with me I'll show you our campsite when we get there made it it's a pretty nice spot let me get you turned around we'll take a look all right there's the canoes this is our little landing here got a some grass this is our view it's pretty nice not many people out on the water today that's okay it's gonna be a pretty sunset but yeah here we go so, this is our campsite it's a little uneven but there's some pretty good spots here that are pretty flat doesn't matter for Steven because he's hammock camping. <laughs> so will be good wherever he's at. Already we're gonna have to do some work on that fire ring there. It needs some it needs some TLC. But should be plenty of firewood. There's stuff right here already cut down. Alright, gear review. Got the Kelty Salida two-person tent, freestanding tent. Got my thermo rest here. And I've got the uh, Teton Trailhead 20 degree bag. It says 20 degree, but I don't believe it. And then I got my cocoon uh, little inflatable pillow. Uh, got my RAV power. It's like a, I forget what milliamp it is, but charge my phone a couple times. I've got my MSR pocket rocket just in case. Toiletries. An extra pair of flip flops. Uh, some extra clothes. And then for protection no I'm just kidding I've got the cold steel uh, Tonto blade and uh, that's the cold steel rifle stock tomahawk that thing I thought it was gonna be cheap but it's actually I mean for the price is a good it's a good deal don't pull it out on nobody you'll surely get shot uh, some number 36 bank line and I carried it all in my Frost River Isle Royale backpack Cross River. That's a good pack. I've had that for several years now. All right. The fellow fishing over there. Hopefully they catch a bunch. Got it set up. So. Guilty Salida 2. I'm going to pack all in there. Ready. Plenty of room. A thermo rest in there. Set up pretty nice. So. Looks good. Get it zipped up, I'll take you on a tour of the campsite. <laughs> Alright. So here's got everything set up here. This is our here's our kitchen. So we got the big Coleman grill there. Stove. Got some big old fat steaks to cook tonight. Here we go. Lights, cooler. Steven, we're gonna have to do some work on that. There's my chair. Here's Steven's setup. 
Got the hammock camp going on. He's going to be comfortable. All ready to go. I think it's going to be a pretty pink lighted sunset tonight. So. going fix that pit up a little bit looks good fires a little big right now but we just getting a coal bed going all right get everything settled in we got some big old fat steaks to cook and might do a little bit of fishing see if we can can't pull us out a big old catfish out of this here channel all right stick with me all right we'll set this kitchen up we're gonna cook us some big old fat steaks Stay tuned. How's those for some rib eyes? I'm gonna season these bad boys up, get them started. We're gonna use this here Weber steak and chop seasoning. I'm gonna use a little bit of that, and I think I might sprinkle a little bit of uh, this here Weber dry rub on them too. It's good for beef, pork, and chicken. We'll get back with you when we're getting ready to fire this thing up. All right, back in Josh's kitchen. Got them all seasoned up. Get ready to fire this thing up and let it get warm. Let it get nice and hot. And we're going to sear some steak. Snap them, man. Snap them things. Sweet. I don't know, Steven. Probably not going to like these. Might, might not like them. They look kind of gross. Nah, them things look good as hell. All right, got the steaks done. Well, look at this. Whoa. Look at them going up this tree. Carpenter ants. Thousands of them. They come out at night. They're all up in that tree. Well, that's cool. Well, let's get to eating. Well, I don't know if you can hear that, but it, uh, this is what happens when you don't look at the radar. <laughs> when you go camping, always pay attention to what the weather's going to be like. Because we're about to get dumped on. It looks like a pretty, pretty good storm coming, so we're hunkering down and uh, hoping for the best. I'll, I'll get back with you. There's lightning and everything. <laughs> oh, boy. I wish us luck starting to drizzle a little bit but the lightning sounds pretty bad there's thunder it's Woo. Woo! I don't like that at all this is not a good spot for us wish us luck well here we are, we probably got another 30 minutes of this. Uh, it's not been, actually, I, I don't know. My heart rate got up a couple times. That's some good lightning. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but. Probably another 30 minutes, it should blow over. And then it's looking pretty clear after, so. I think we're uh, kind of on the tail end of it, but there's still some lightning and uh, the winds definitely died down a lot, so. So far, the 
Kelty is uh, held up. <laughs> I can feel the water rushing underneath my tent. That's how hard it's raining. Torrential downpour. So. All right. We're about on the tail end of this thing. All right. <clears throat> Let's slide these shoes on, man. We'll go check old Steven. The storm's over. I looked at the radar. It's blown over. But... <clears throat> I'll tell you what, I was a little scared there for a little bit. Not. Uh, all right. Well. Oh. Oh. Whew. Chicken livers. <laughs> Look how full our canoes are. Woo wee. Steven. Yeah. You alive? Yeah. Soaked. <laughs> Soaked. Yeah. That'll come around. <laughs> oh shit, dude, you were right here on the edge. Boy, oh boy. We was in the, we was in it, wasn't we? <laughs> Holy shit. Well, we made it. And, uh, no, no worse for the wear, but Steven's a little wet, but I think we're gonna count our lucky stars and go to bed. See you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. So we survived ready to do up some coffee and maybe have a little bowl of grits it's really pretty out here tons of fog and rolling in around the mountains and the little islands and stuff it's a really pretty morning I'll try to get some pictures for you but first let's get some coffee in mmm coffee came we saw we conquered and we're heading back now we got everything packed up I don't know if you can tell it's pretty cloudy it looks like there's some rain coming too so we're just gonna go ahead and pack it up and go home go get some real food and uh, but it was a lot of fun we had a good time a little sketchy last night that thunderstorm I'll put a I'll put a post of the radar. I'll put a little picture up of the radar. And you're gonna be like, <laughs> what were you guys thinking? <laughs> but we had no idea. I, I had no idea it was supposed to rain. Beautiful as it was, I just didn't even think about checking. Pretty stupid. But anyway, good times. It's an experience. We made it through it, and it'll be a be something to tell the kids about. <laughs> Maybe they'll be smarter than I am. All right, so I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank all my new subscribers. And I want to thank all the likes and the views 
and everybody that watches my videos. I appreciate it very much, and we'll see you next time on Josh's Outdoor Adventure. Oh,